Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. And this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a gaming banner really easily for free in Photopea. So let's get started. Okay, so first, let's start out by making a new project. So just click New Project or go up to File and New. And the size for this is going to be 2560. By 1440 that is the only thing YouTube will accept any smaller will not work so we're just going to name it and name banner and leave everything else the same and hit create so what we're gonna do to make this a little easier to make we're gonna go up to image canvas size change that to 2560 by 423 so I know I told you it's only acceptable for the other size but we're gonna resize that once we're done this is just to be like a template for us to work on. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our rectangle tool down here. Left click on that. And we're going to draw out a big rectangle like this big. Just let go. And now grab your move tool over here. And you can move it. Go up to edit. Free transform so we can angle this. Just hit that check mark when you got it. And the color choice is optional, so I'm going to go with red because I like red. You can change the color by double clicking on the layer, going to color overlay, changing it to whatever color you'd like. But I'm going to stick with red. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type some text. So I'm going to go to my text tool over here. Left click on it. Click anywhere on your canvas and type in your name. Hit that check mark. So it's kind of below the red layer so I'm going to move it above it by just dragging the layer up. If you double click on your text you can adjust the size up here using this little slider or you can type it in manually like 200 and you can change the font up here to whatever you want. I'm going to go with I'm going to find a random one that I like and I'll be back. So I went with Bulby1 right up here. You can go with whatever you'd like. Hit that check mark. Now we're going to double click on the text layer and we're going to adjust some settings. So we're going to start out by going to color overlay and I'm going to change that to whatever the bottom color is, which should be white or whatever you chose. I'm going to go with white. Hit OK. I'm going to add a stroke and hit the plus sign to add another stroke. So on the first stroke, we're going to change the color to red. So I got red. And I'm going to change the size to where it's like about that big. And the other stroke is good. You just want it to be a little bit bigger than your last one. Okay, so now I'm going to change the background color to a darker gray or a darker white like this. Maybe a little lighter just so you can see the separation. Hit OK. Okay, so now I'm going to get my rectangle tool again. And draw two more rectangles about this size. So there's one. There's the other. So just click on the top one. Double click on that layer. Go to color overlay. Change the color to a darker red. Than this one. And now hit OK. Make sure it's on top of that layer though. So you can see it's like a darker version of it. We're going to rotate it by going up to edit, free transform. Rotate it like this. Make it a little bit bigger. Until it's like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity of it and turn it down a little bit. And I'm probably going to move it up a little bit to where it's not really that noticeable. I'm going to do the same with this bottom one. So double click on it, change it to like a gray or just a darker shade of the white like that. I'm going to rotate it. A 
like this. And I'm going to turn the opacity down to about like 60. I'll make it bigger. Like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text below. So if you want to put like what your channel is or like a slogan or something, you could do like gaming slash graphic design, which is what I do. Now we just got to edit the text. I'm going to make the text color white. Give it a stroke, a red stroke and make it pretty small. Let's zoom out. Might make it a little bit smaller. So we can do it this way. You don't have to do it like that. You can just have your name. And I'm going to show you how to add some social media. So I found the Twitter icon. So I'm just going to right click on it. Copy it. Bring it back into Photopy. Hit Control V. Edit. Free Transform to resize it. And shrink it down quite a bit while holding Shift. So it doesn't warp. about this much hit the check mark now let's find another okay so I got the Instagram logo so copy that bring it back in and what I like to do is I like to resize it next to the other one I just did so they can be the same size so about there and then move it on this side hit that check mark double click on that layer Go to color overlay, now it's white. Now go to the Twitter one, go to color overlay and change that to red. So it kind of offsets the white. Because you don't want it to be white because it'll blend in with the background. You can add a drop shadow by clicking drop shadow. But make it to where it's not that noticeable. Like change the angle to about 90 degrees so it's below it. Change the distance to like 10 and opacity like 25 and I'll do that with the other one. And you don't have to have social media. I just want to because I want to show you guys a bunch of examples that you can do. So the shadow needs to be a little bit darker on this one because the red's a darker color. So there we go. Hit OK. Now if you want to type your name in. At Canvas, change that to like red, resize it like this, and now I'm going to move it over to it. I'm going to duplicate the layer just so I can show you what it looks like on this side. Make sure to change it to white so you can actually see it. I almost forgot to mention, now we gotta resize it like in the beginning of the video, I said you have to make it that size. So go up to image, canvas size, 2560 by 1440. So now we have its original state, I know it looks weird, but when you save this and put it in um, YouTube, it'll look like it did before, so don't worry about that. Now just go up to file, export as, and do PNG. Make sure the quality is at 100 and save. So that's going to have to conclude the video. I hope this helped you guys. Um, you could change a bunch of things on this. You don't have to make it like I did. But if you want to, you can. It's up to you guys. I hope that helped. Thank you guys again for 1,000 subs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.